Hello everybody, this is Julissa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who is listening right now in the podcast. It is Monday, July the 7th, 2025. I wanted to come here and share this story with you guys. Before I continue, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's listening on the podcast using Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Don't forget to follow the podcast there and that way, every time I make a new episode, you get a notification. And of course, thank you so much to everybody who's watching this video right now on YouTube. I'm going to share something with you guys that is very important. I haven't heard a lot of news channels speak about it. I usually listen to the news in the morning, right? I like to listen to to know what's happening. I haven't heard them speak about this. And this is very unprecedented situation. Excuse me, an unprecedented situation that's happening in the ocean. Okay, and we need to pay attention. The earth is going to tell you, right? The Bible says, you know, when they ask, the disciples ask Jesus, when will this thing happen that you're coming back the second time, right? He said so many things, right? And it's very um, crazy that we are not uh, being watchful. You know, obviously some of us are not really caring so much about what, what was happening, not to bring fear but to kind of like pay attention right especially you know like what happened in texas that river grows to 30 feet in 45 minutes the guadalupe river over there in texas like i told you guys uh, over the weekend right this is why it, it has been so devastating right this is what we need to pray for people this is what we need to be watchful what's happening what happened over there in texas was also unprecedented and all these things, like, it will shock, it will come as a surprise, right? The Bible says, I'm not saying that that was, this, obviously, that's not, I'm not, nobody knows the, the time and day of the second coming of the Lord, but I'm saying weather changes is so important, okay? They say, you know, you know, the Bible says we're going to be marrying, giving each other into marriage, and nothing, we're going to be living as nothing is happening. And yet, all these signals are happening, Right? Crying our faces. And now the ocean is giving a signal that has scientists saying we have never seen this before. Right now they're saying that they have been a current reverse for the first time, signaling a risk of climate system collapse. Okay? They have been a change in the current of the ocean. And let me tell you what that is exactly. An ocean reversal, that's what they call it. An ocean reversal refers to a significant shift in the direction of strength of a major ocean current, particularly, particularly those driven by temperature and salinity differences. Let me read to you the article. A major current um, a major ocean current in the southern hemisphere has been has reversed direction for the first time in history in what climatologists are calling a catastrophic tipping point in the global climate system. The development, which was confirmed by the Spanish marine scientists at El Instituto de Science del Mar in Barcelona has triggered widespread alarm among climate scientists due to its potential to accelerate global warming and the destabilize weather patterns worldwide. This is not going to affect the scientists that discovered this over there in Spain, right? This change that the ocean is basically screaming out change reverse in the current of the ocean that I have never seen since they, be, they began recording history. It could trigger either, you know, in the where the weather is very cold, it will trigger even more increased cold weather. And where the weather is warm, it will be the highest warmer um, uh, temperatures that have ever been seen. The stunning reversal of the ocean circulation in the southern hemisphere confirms the global climate system has entered already a catastrophic phase, said climate activist Ben C. in a post on social media. The collapse involved the deep overturning circulation in the southern Atlantic, part of the global conveyor belt of ocean currents, which typically typically 
both cold, nutrient-rich water up from the ocean floor and drive planetary heat distribution. The story just published on July 2nd identifies a collapse and reversal of the deep western boundary in the South Atlantic, a key part of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, also known as AMOC. The current system plays a crucial role in regulating global temperature, like I told you, and storing atmosphere atmospheric carbon dioxide dioxide in the deep ocean. The ICM data shows that the flow of the, the current reversed from northward to southward for several consecutive months in 2023, the first such event in 30 years of continuous monitoring. This is an unprecedented observation and a potential game changer, said um, a physicist and lead author Dr. Marilena or Ormans, who one the changes could alter the southern ocean capacity to sequester heat and carbon. According to the organization, the reversal is likely likely linked to an ongoing weakening of the Atlantic overturning circulation, a deep ocean process driven by the formation of cold, salty waters masses near Antarctica. That system has lowered up by 40% since the late 1990s, and the new findings suggest that it might be destabilizing regional ocean dynamics more rapidly than expected. There have been a lot of speculation that the whole AMOC, otherwise known as the Gulf Stream, could come to a halt. And the AMOC brings warm weather to Europe. Listen, this is how it this operates. It's fascinating to me. That brings warm weather to Europe from the e- equator. Equator, excuse me. And when it stops flowing, that will lead to a mini ice age in Europe. With winter temperatures trapping by 10 to 30 degrees, while scientists are 98% certain that the AMOC will stop uh, flowing by 2100. A recent study suggests that the collapse could come as soon as this year, or at least in the next few decades. So this could be double curing atmospheric CO2 concentration by releasing carbon that has been stored in deep ocean for centuries. The reversal will undermine the ocean role as a carbon sink, which currently absorbs about 25% of all anthropogenic CO2 emissions. And that's what they say. This could double curing atmospheric CO2 concentration by releasing carbon that has been stored in the deep ocean for centuries. The report says such a release will likely alleviate existing climate targets as the additional emissions will overwhelm current carbon budgets and render mitigation strategies based on gradual reduction obsolete. The planet, this is what they say, the planet is sending us increasingly clear sign, signals that we are crossing into critical threshold, the organization has warned, characterizing the event as a shift from chronic climate stress to acute system systematic breakdown. The reversal threatens to weaken the ocean crucial role as a carbon sink, one of the Earth's key natural defenses against rising atmospheric CO2, and will also dramatically disrupt global weather system, sea level patterns, and marine ecosystem. So let me see what else I can read to you guys. I think um, when the people that are experts in this, right, they're seeing things that I have never seen before. 
I mean the ocean, right? Reversing its current and how the ocean affects so much the temperature, right? Saying that if right now they say it's not even critical no more. It's it's um it's acute they say. Let me just get that. It's an acute systematic breakdown. And like I said, it will affect um, the temperatures so drastically. Let's see if I can get you more information, guys. I'm interested to see also like what people are um, saying about this. Because sometimes, you know, what we what happens is that human nature, when we don't understand something, we, we tend to be like, oh, just, you know, people always say, leave it to the expert, right? The expert are knocking and saying, this is our report. We have never seen anything like this before. Since, since right, they've never seen it right, since they began monitoring everything when it comes to weather patterns and the ocean current and all of that stuff. And they're saying, we are in a very critical situation, right? And this is what could happen within this year. They say it could be this year, right? Or it could be within the next decades, but it's going to affect our weather patterns, our water levels, right? So let me just see if I can get more information here. Somebody said, well, I'm going to read to you guys some of the comments. Somebody said, Antarctica is melting like never before. Never before. And it says, say, on the farm site, news. See, some people are saying, how come they're not finding this information in the news? And that's what I was saying before, you guys. Not a lot of people are talking about it, right? Uh, and this is very important. Not, and I know they probably don't don't release it. Um, you know, obviously, everybody can find what I'm reading, right? And get more information probably too. But they're not going to come and release it because of, you know, we don't want to, they don't want to speak so much about they don't want people to start going to have this fear, right? Because they're saying this this could affect us. I mean, basically the whole point is this. We have detected a reversal of the current in the ocean. And if it continues, right, it's going to affect the weather drastically that, like I told you guys in the beginning of this episode, that in the Places where it's really warm, it's going to get triple probably the warm, the temperature, right? And where it's very cold, it's going to be a little, like they say, mini ice age, um, you know, temperatures to that level, right? So basically that will happen, but it, they also say it can happen this year, 2025, or it can happen within the next decades, right? So that's probably why this is not being uh, widely publicized, because there's a it's an uncertainty, but the report is out there because it's unprecedented, right? Um, it's their duty. If they're the, the ones that are monitoring the climate and the ocean, they have to provide this type of information, right? But what I'm saying is, and being a Christian myself and connecting everything, I mean, the the earth will give us signals, signals right? I mean... Everything, like I told you guys, I started by speaking about what happened in Texas over the weekend. That says a lot, right? There was no warning. There was no warning calls, right? Somebody said that at 4, p- 4 in the morning, some of the parents began getting text messages saying, oh, you know, the camp is, is starting to flow, to flow, right? There's a situation with the weather. Uh, some, of our, some of our cabins are being flooded right now. 40 in the morning when everybody's like uh, asleep, right? No time. This already, it's already has been happening, right? And it happened so fast, like I told you. And now that we have this information that's being released now, right, about the ocean reversing its current. 
something that they have never seen before. I think it's very important for us to um, to pay attention and to start, you know, as we get closer, you know, closer to the second coming of the Lord. This is just another sign, you guys. It's just another sign that we are we're very close. Right, the I mean, the the Bible speaks about all these signs, right? All these signs that the Earth will give us, and this is, I mean, the ocean reversing its current direction like that, right? That says a lot. I mean, you have scientists being very concerned. They're saying we're already in a critical state right now, and those are the people who do this for a living. This is their, this is what they do this is their passion so it's something for us to pay attention let me know guys what you think about this i will definitely if i get more information definitely put it uh we'll probably do a second episode thank you so much everybody for coming to my channel thank you for listening in the podcast have a good day everybody god bless